found out I was pregnant. I was 18. And I found out right before I went to school one day. I um I went to Walmart and I got two cheap tests and two expensive tests. And I'm the type of girl where if I miss my period, like something is wrong. My period comes on on the same day every month. Like if it comes on on the first every month, it comes on on the first. Like I was just that kind of girl. I had a regular jagular period. So I went and got two expensive ones, two cheap ones out of Walmart right before I went to school. And I already kept pushing it out. I think at this point I was like two days miss period. And I was like, oh shit, like something wrong, like something wrong. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna take it when I get back from school. Went to school. Yeah, when I said I left class early, I had to leave class so freaking early because it was in my mind. You know when something bothers you in your mind, you're just constantly like, I gotta hurry up find out, I gotta hurry up find out. And so I ran home, plus I wanted to do it before my mom didn't get home. I ran home, I think first I took the cheap, the two cheap ones, and I'm like, girl, this shit saying pregnant and this cheap ass test like I just kept saying this cheap ass test I'm not pregnant that is exactly why I bought the expensive ones girl I pee on the expensive ones I was pregnant I was pregnant and I was like oh shit like in that moment I was just like oh shit oh shit like I'm still in school what am I going do or whatever like that so the first person I told was my cousins me and my cousins are like this like and we had a group chat and I was like big sis guess what and they was like what girl what 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 I was like I'm pregnant and I sent them a picture of the little pregnancy test and he was like oh shit like well they was congr well they was happy they was like oh shit but they was happy and I'm just like oh shit like oh shit and they was like oh when you gonna tell your boyfriend and I'm like I don't know I don't know how I'm gonna tell my mom I don't know I'm gonna tell my daddy or anything so I told my boyfriend first I told him first and this is how I was um, working at Arby's during the time and I think I didn't tell him to like three days later and once I got off work I text him no I call him and I was like man we got to talk bro and he was like what do we got to talk about and I was like we got to talk like we got to talk talk so he was like you can go ahead and see it now excuse my hands they ashy and I was like well you know I missed my period and I'm like four days at this point I was like four days later something like that and he was like what that mean and I was like we having a baby I took he was like you went to doctor I said I took four pregnancy tests like and he was like well they must be wrong and I was like I took four and I'm not going to no doctor like I took four so he got quiet and he really didn't say nothing. He was just like quiet, quiet. I'm like, you ain't gonna, you're not gonna talk or whatever. And he was like, well, I don't know. I guess we having a baby. So he was excited or he was like mad. Like, I, I just couldn't. He was so monotone, like one monotone. I was like, okay, that was easy or whatever. Now, telling my parents, that's a whole nother story, especially my dad. So with my mom, I didn't even tell my mom. I called my grandma. And I was like, I called my grandma. I was like, mom, with a sad voice or whatever over the phone. And she was like, what is Asia? And I was like, I done did it. And she was like, don't tell me you pregnant. And I was like, yup. And she was like, what your mama say about that? I was like, tell her that what I'm calling you for. So she was like, oh, so you want me to tell her? And so she was like, okay, I'll tell her, but she was just like, she was upset because I was still in school. She was upset, but she was like, she'll tell him. So at this point, I'm laying down in the bed, low key crying. Just got like tears dropping, running down my eyes or whatever. And 
I get a text. She must be told my mom because I get a text from my mom and was like, pack your shit and get out of my house and I'm not going to help you. I was like, sis, I'm your child. Like, your mama helped you, so why you can't help me? Or whatever. And mind you, abortion was not on the plate. Was not on the plate. And I, I got to cry a little bit more or whatever. And she was like, she couldn't believe me. I basically had to step up and do what I had to do. And to go to my boyfriend's house. Because at the time, my boyfriend had his own house or whatever. And I was always over there anyway. So I just kind of low-key stayed over there. Kind of avoiding them. Because they all was just like talking trash to me. Talking trash about me. And when I went, now with my father, I didn't tell him until my first doctor's appointment. I went to my first doctor's appointment. I heard my baby heartbeat. And I kind of, okay. I tried to avoid telling him. Just in case I have a miscarriage or something. I was low-key scared I was going to have a miscarriage. And went to the doctors, heard my baby first heartbeat. I saw the ultrasound, everything. I, at this point, I was like, I was like 10 weeks. And I was like, okay. He was like, my baby healthy. I don't see a miscarriage nowhere in my future. So I was like, okay. So after I left my doctors for me, I got in the car. I started crying again, low key. And I texted my dad. I was like, I just left the doctor, and basically, they said I was going to have a baby. Mind you, he don't never really call me unless it's like a holiday, birthday, just something like that. He started blowing up my phone 24-7 and I would never answer. So he texted me, he was like, I know you avoided me, but what the f*** do you mean? You having a baby. And he was like, oh, he gonna beat my boyfriend ass. My dad's in jail, y'all. My dad was in prison during this time. So he was calling my phone just trying to talk to him he can't believe i'm pregnant and i'm gonna have an abortion yada 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 he was gonna get my uncle to take me if i don't go and i just started crying and all kind of stuff he was like you don't love me if you don't have no abortion he was really trying to make me have an abortion i'm sitting there telling them like i'm not having no abortion like you can't make me go like you cannot make me go i'm grown at this point i was 18. i really think i was grown at 18 y'all but i was like I'm grown. What is you, like? What is you talking about? And like I said, my daddy called me up until he found out I was having a boy. When he had a boy, he calmed down. He didn't want to fight no more. He didn't want to do anything. He was just like, "Oh, we gotta, we gotta name the baby." I'm like, "Oh, we, we got named baby." No, -uh. well, you was fussing and doing everything. I had already named the baby. Like I had already had. From the time I got pregnant, I was like Logan. I didn't care if it was a boy or girl. Like Logan's gonna be the name kind of when I had a boy but they eventually came around like <clears throat> my mom came out way way faster than my daddy like I said my dad just he came around when he found out it was a boy because my dad really had all girls so he always wanted like that boy and um he finally got his boy my mom from the time she was just like I think after two weeks, she was fine. She just started buying stuff. She wanted a girl. And she was at every appointment, really. So, like I say, if you're a teen mom and you're out there, most most parents going to fuss at first anyway. Like, they'll fuss, holler, do whatever. But eventually, they'll tell you to come home or whatever. They kick you out. They'll tell you come home. They're going to get around over it. Every mom is going to have fuss before. Like, they have fuss before. And then when that baby come, I bet you it's a whole nother story. Or when you got to that point to have the baby, it was a whole nother story. But as far as like school, I walked around pregnant my freshman year. Yeah, I, I got stairs. So if you're in school, you're going to get stairs. I mean, listen, you're not the first one pregnant and you ain't going to be the last one pregnant. Okay, so... If you're worrying about that, no, you worry about it. Do what you got to do. Go get a job. I don't care if it's fast food. A job is a job. If you're making money, it's a job. Like, don't let nobody knock you for what you're doing. Like, and even though you're 18, I mean, you're going to have to put your big girl panties on. It's not going to really be any partying. I mean, if you, if some people have help, help. Like, I've seen people at 17 have babies and they have help, help. And 
they go party and stuff like that. But me personally, I didn't even want to party, even though I had help or whatever. I did not want to party. Like okay, guys. So why I was editing and watching the video, I forgot to add the symptoms of my pregnancy. Okay, so during my pregnancy, the whole pregnancy. I passed out every day. I threw up at least three times a day and I had to go to the hospital at least once a month to get like three IV bags and it was it was ridiculous. It was terrible and just from that one pregnancy I don't know if I would be able to get I would get pregnant again like that was the worst pregnancy ever but I did hear that your first pregnancy is always your hardest pregnancy. I don't know but during my labor my labor was pretty easy um i was supposed to get induced um that more like eight or something eight o'clock that morning but i actually went into labor on my own around like seven that morning so they still broke my ward and everything and he came out i want to say i officially started labor maybe around um right, right when they broke my water at eight and he was out before one like I got epidural I did not go natural salute to all you girls that go natural because it could not be me and when I got in there I think I was like three centimeters and I got my epidural right in there like I didn't care about it wearing up I didn't care like the labor pains was just like ridiculous to me so that was that he came out in three pushes so as far as like my pregnancy it was hard like girl it was hard but my actual labor was pretty easy it was pretty easy he came out in three pushes so i also want to say to you if you're a teen mom and you want to reach out to me um be gladly to give you encouragement and stuff like that don't have an abortion like mm, if you have to give it up for adoption do that i mean Make sure you have a baby with a guy that's going to do something. Um, I mean, it's not hard. People make it harder than what it is. I mean, I'm not telling you to go out here and get pregnant. Disclaimer, I'm not. I'm now 21 and my son is 2. So, at the end of this video, I'm going to let you guys meet my son. Say hey. <laughs> Say hey, Logan. Hey, look. Okay, you want to be on camera? Look, look. They mine. My tablet. My tablet. That my tablet. Say hey YouTube. Say hey YouTube. You gonna say hey? Hmm. You gonna say hey? Look, look. Say hey. Say hey, Toot! Toot! Look, Toot! <laughs> Say YouTube. I too. So guys, this is me being a teen mom at 18. Like I said, I'm 21 now and Logan is 2. So obviously it worked out for me. And I mean, you're going to have up and down days good and bad days so if you like this video make sure you subscribe like and comment say bye say bye